a bit of a sticky little bit. Sorry to interrupt. Any bajor? Charlene and Dijon Paz. Any Ashin Marine, Dijon Paz. Nikki and Val. Hey, hey. Mishna Bear, Quail. Nibi. Motia. I'm a water walker. Uh, I do lots of things. I like. I'm glad you're all here to create this kind of awareness in this city. Um, I think we all have serious work to do if we want to save the planet. Because uh, we, as First Nations, we know our job. Our job has always been to protect the earth. So, but we welcome anybody that wants to step forward to do a job for humanity, because this is for everybody. Everybody has to look after the earth. Everybody should be concerned about what they're building over the earth, what's poisoning the earth, and we should be taking care of the water in all areas, you know, because of all the things that are being built in our areas that people really have to pay attention to and wake up to. Um, so I'm here supporting this group that we found on Facebook, and I'm happy to be here and be in solidarity with you. Um, hopefully we'll have more people come out, come out the next time, but you just being here, you're, you're causing something to happen. And that's what it's all about. Causing something to happen within your community, my community, and this whole territory. So, miigwech. Uh -huh. See, I did get, I didn't pull it in. Did we have the autograph on? Yeah, you should. So, I also um, just want to say thank you. My name is Shay Lynn. Uh, McKay. I'm from, originally from Fort William First Nations, although I was born and raised here in town. Um, <laughs> I've said this um, already to some of you. Uh, these are some new faces, which is awesome to see. Um, but being in this group has made me feel a, a part of the community, finally. Um, which is neat for a, an Indigenous youth that r raised in an urban setting. Uh, I guess I'm here to support what food is because um, what's going on with the RCMP and Indigenous sovereignty is not being taken seriously, nor are our rights. This has been going on for far too long. Um, the agreements that have been made, that they're not even made, they, the agreements that have been talked about as of right now have nothing to do with the CDL pipeline that is currently being constructed. They're still on Wet'suwet'en territory. RCMP are still there. And Trudeau and Morgan, the Premier of BC, have still not had actual conversations with the hereditary chiefs. That's why we're still here. That's why we're still coming out. Because we want to keep all eyes on Wet'suwet'en yeah. so that um, we hold our governments accountable. We are watching. We want to make sure that they act with respect and in good faith with all Indigenous people, especially the hereditary chiefs who have traditional governance on that land. They have, uns you know what I mean? Um, anyways, I'm going to keep rambling. It's unceded territory. Thank you. Um, thank you all for coming out. And I'm not a speech maker, so don't put this on YouTube. <laughs> and yet you made a speech. <laughs> yeah. She me glitch, honestly. Yeah. Uh -huh. Me glitch. Me glitch. David, sir. Yeah, uh, David Walton. I'm, I'm from here, no one's sound, and uh, I really want to say that we, we really need to stand in solidarity with our all our brothers and sisters. Um, I've been involved in a couple of other protests, uh, Dump Site 41 and the Mega Quarry at Shelburne, and our Indigenous brothers and sisters were the main leaders there, and we got those things stopped. And right now, Premier Horrigan is saying, well, the, the permits have been issued. And he's basically saying the pipeline is going to go through. Now, I say, okay, if somebody had issued a permit from Canada in the U.S., I don't think the U.S. would accept that. It wouldn't happen. But because it's unceded native territory, 
he thinks he can just put it through. And and we have to keep the awareness up that, that they're really still only paying lip service to reconciliation. Thank you. All right. Now that we're doing open mic hour, I just say a couple quick words. <laughs> uh, I've been helping to organize this alongside Shay and a bunch of other people, and it's been really great, even though it's been conflictual times that we're organizing around. I guess I want to speak a little bit to why I'm interested in this, which is that I've had the opportunity to visit Una Stoughton Camp a few years ago when CGL was doing their surveying, um, and they were just like doing groundwork trying to stop this pipeline from happening. And now CGL is still doing their groundwork to make the pipeline happen. And uh, things have calmed down a bit because there's agreements happening and the blockades have come down. But I heard somebody kind of make the joke that, you know, the blockades came down with like a little bit of next time don't mess around Canada kind of thing. So it's important to show that we're still like out here watching and paying attention. And, um, I guess lastly, I just wanted to say that I'm really grateful that so many people came out today and to see settlers and indigenous people coming out and standing together is a pretty great thing, I think. So uh, just thank you everybody for coming out. Did, did you want to, here, here, go ahead, take, take this speaker. Go, go ahead. Hey, guy with the flag. <laughs> Hello. Uh, I just wanted to mention I, I also got a chance to visit out in Unistaten, and they've been fighting uh, for like nine years. I think it was two years ago. They said it was seven years, so it's been nine years. So nearly a damn decade that they've been out like 100 kilometers from the closest town, just like living off of the, the gratitude of others who've been um, bringing up oranges and bringing up food just so that they can survive. They told me their first winter out there, they damn near died because it was just so cold and they had nothing. They were building from scratch just on the spot where they knew that the pipeline was going to go through. They were like, we're going to just build here so that they can't build their, their stupid infrastructure instead. So, and so they've been there for like 10 years now and it's interesting that we're finally looking at it, but it's uh, hopefully it'll end soon on, on the right side. Say some words. Yeah. Uh, my name is Ray Bott. I'm an advocate for those in need with BLC Global Ministries. I want to say, as a white person, I'm very ignorant. I, I know very little. And the things that I do know is because I have a friend who has enlightened me of the truth of many things. And many of the things with the native people I have not really believed when he shared it. I had to look up and research. And the reason why I'm here today is foremost is the Wet'suwet'en heredity chiefs, to my understanding, are the leaders. They're not, they're not the sub-leaders of the chiefs, national chiefs. They are the people who have the right to make the decisions on behalf of their people for the land that is unseated. So the truth will always be the truth. The, the question is, what we, will we know here in this land about the truth? Because if I ask a native person, they will tell me things that have been going on and continue to happen with the pain and torment in their soul. Have they fought? They continue to fight. So the question I have today is not so much uh, of what I need to know, because I know enough that this is wrong. A pipeline going through a land that they're not accepting. Well, if we don't join together with those who suffer, when we suffer, what would we expect? 
So I really have nothing to say. I'm a white man. This is, is you know, <laughs> but together we are people, right? And the native people are very welcoming and loving and kind and compassionate. And they purpose when they do something, they think about seven, is it seven generations? Yeah. Right? Of, of behind and, and forward for, for to make their grandparents proud of what they do. So I want to say, I would like to take my head off because honestly, the people that I'm getting to know in this group around the world, by the way, are saying enough is enough. Okay? So the blockades came down in the Mohawk territory the other day because they said, since they're talking, we are showing that we're doing it because of a goodwill of faith that something good will happen. They continue to be patient. I would not be. I'm not now. So... May the children of this generation know the truth. Thank you. Take it home, Trey. <laughs> that was all we kind of had scheduled, so we'll hang out for the next, like, probably half an hour or so. Feel free to kick off whenever you feel like it. It's getting cold. Yeah. But thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate it. Um, and stay tuned to the uh, What's Food in Solidarity Grey Bruce Facebook page because we'll probably keep coming out until it's resolved. Thank you. Thank you for working. Don't shout us hard. I wanted to ask you. Uh, so, so can I put your speech on YouTube? I think it was oh, really yeah, good. Sure. Yeah, okay. All right, okay. I just did okay, that. Okay, <laughs> All right. Feel free to chop it out. No, oh, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Thank you. So, so, so that that was it. Bye, guys. <laughs>